the Deputy Minister of Communications, Mr. Landabene Abrahams, conducted a project monitoring visit of the online video editing course in Johannesburg today. We're following up on what we committed to during our last financial year budget vote. We committed that we're going to train about 150 students on online video editing. I am pleased with the progress so far. I only got uh, to hear that in the Eastern Cape there was uh, about two dropouts, but they've been replaced. Everybody's excited and they're looking forward to the challenge. I would like to urge the, the, the citizens of our country that it is important that we realize the opportunities that are presented by the digital space that we are entering in. Let us work together in driving the digital revolution. This project is benefiting 70 unemployed youth in the Eastern Cape, 40 in the Western Cape and 40 in Gauteng. The Department of Education in Gauteng saw a need to support an initiative of this nature. This is very important. They must embrace this opportunity. Uh, they must not uh, lose hope. It gets difficult at times. You get criticized, you get discouraged, but we are encouraging them to soldier on. It is going to be worth their while at the end of the day. At the beginning, many beneficiaries like Shaniga found no comfort in these rooms. But today, they have a different story to tell. To be honest, um, at the beginning it was a bit, you know, boring because I didn't have a clue on what, what was going on. But um, as time went by, it, it's, so, it's so interesting now. Like, it has become so much exciting. And then they gave us um, the basics of editing. That, is, that was um, in theory. And then, um, yeah, that's about it. But now we're busy with the planning, like on, on the strategies. The pilot phase of this project is expected to last until 2016 August. The extension of this project will be determined by the success of its initial phase and the budget allocation. Oratile Khwale, GCIS, Johannesburg.